Hey, what is going on guys? It's DJ here, Money by the Mile. Hope everybody's doing good. Today we got this great video for you guys. Uh, if you stick around to the end, the video is uh, a review on Super Ego Transportation. Rocket, uh, cut them. They have like four or five different uh, companies working under the Super Ego Net brand. But, uh, you know, I'm gonna give you the goods. I'm gonna give you the bads. I had some guys I know that work there that are still there. Some guys I know that have left, but the outfit in itself seems to be okay. So stick around, we'll be back in a second. Okay guys. All right, I'm back. And uh, you know, Super Ego is a, uh, I, let's say, you know, it's a different brand company. They have like four or five different companies working under the same Super Ego name, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna give you the cons of working there first. And then if you stick around to the end, you'll get to hear the positive sides of things. and. There's some good positive stuff there. I mean, it's not great positive stuff, but there's some good positive stuff there. So, you know, the company, you know, you have to fly out there on your dime. And, uh, you know, you get, you know, you get up there and it's like a one day orientation. And, uh, you know, but the thing that I've heard and the things that people are really upset about with this company and you know it's like every major company out there they all seem to do the same thing uh, they promise you stuff and then when you get there it's changed okay so all right so with super ego the experience that my buddy told me is that he flew up there got there there was like 20 drivers in a room waiting around. Nobody giving direction, nobody telling you who you need to speak to, what you need to speak to. Uh, you know, you had to pay for your Uber from the airport too. But, uh, you know, you have to pay for everything, okay? And I'm gonna give you the rundown on that. So hang out. If you like what you've seen so far, please uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, hit the like button. You know, it doesn't cost you nothing to subscribe. It helps out the channel and the channel is growing. So, uh, back to, let's say the cons of the thing. All right, so you get there, it's kind of unorganized. It, you know, uh, it is a Russian ran. I don't know, I, I hate to use the word Russian. I, I don't know if I don't know the ethnic background. I know it's not American. It's a, uh, I think it's Lithuanian or something like that nice people but it's not the most organized place okay but uh that's in the beginning you know so then you get then you go into this room and this guy mike he uh tells you okay uh would you want do you want to drive international now this person was told he was going to get a kenworth brand new kenworth okay so first they bring you in this room and they try to after waiting several, you know, hours or, you know, at least an hour, this guy brings you in the room and then he goes, okay, so uh, what kind of truck you want? And you just tell him what you want. And then he goes, well, I have an international. I don't have that other truck available. So I have an international and uh, you can have it. And, you know, and uh, that's your choice. And now you're there. Again, that's why I always tell you guys, never go anywhere with no money. Because now you're there, and you can either take the job or walk home if you don't have money. I mean, because they're not gonna get you home, so. So, after that thing, after going back and forth and arguing and, saying, and threatening to go home, uh, you know, they put him in a Kenworth. It was a new Kenworth, 
and it broke down. Okay, so he was told, uh, okay, well, we'll put it in the shop and, you know, we'll put you in another truck and when the truck's ready, we'll give you that truck. Well, they put him in the International and he took it out for a test drive and there were some things wrong. And so finally he was, this was the next day. He was so frustrated. It was a Saturday. He told the guy on the yard, he said, listen, I'm going home. Fuck this. I'm not dealing with this shit. Okay. So uh, they said, oh, no, no, no. Don't go home. Go home. We'll put you in this Peterbilt. So uh, they put him in the Peterbilt and, uh, you know, had 400 and something thousand miles on it. No fucking, uh, no, uh, you know, if it breaks down, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? No, uh, guarantee nothing. Okay. So, uh, you know, he, he agrees to take it because, you know, he's there, he, he's ready to go to work and, uh, you know, he's just, you know, now he's at the point where I'm just going to run for a couple weeks, make a little bit of money and get the fuck up out of here. So, uh, he takes the truck. And now uh, we'll go into the fees, okay? Because when he was told, he was never told about a cargo fee or anything like that. So, so now you got a $650 a week payment, okay? You got a $250 a week cargo payment, okay? You got a maintenance, they don't charge you for maintenance, but you got uh, your fuel. And then you got, uh, a trailer rental or a trailer buy. I think it's 275 to rent and 300 and something dollars to buy. Okay, so you got all this stuff coming out of your check automatically. Now, the thing he was pissed off about, he didn't get the truck with the warranty and he didn't, he wasn't told about the cargo. So he thought he was going to work for $650 a week, which is a good deal. And, but now he's paying, really he's paying nine because he has to pay the cargo and the trailer rental and all this other stuff. So he was not aware of that. So he was kind of pissed off. Anyway, he takes the loads out, he's running. The loads are okay, you know, $2, 225 a mile. Uh, they will give you the uh, the sheet if you ask for it. You gotta be very uh, demanding about that. Listen, I'm not gonna take the load unless you send me over the dispatch from the broker, okay? And I would recommend that to any of you guys. Do not work for a company that's not willing to give you the numbers. Okay, we talked about that in other videos if you've been following me so make sure you do that uh the other thing is you know the truck broke down new year's eve set up the truck stop all weekend because there was no place to tow it to end up towing it to uh peterbilt about 40, 50 miles away because he was in the middle of fucking nowhere, West Virginia. And uh cost sixteen hundred dollars to tow it. And the repair was twenty five hundred dollars. So, you know, now he's four thousand in debt plus all this other stuff coming out. Uh so he was not happy about that. And uh you know and they said they were going to pay it, but, you know, it, there, there's a language barrier there, so he wasn't really sure, you know, he misunderstood them, but they said, yeah, we'll take care of it. But when they said they were going to take care of it, and remember this, when they say they're going to take care of it, they're going to pay for it then, but they're going to charge you back, okay? So, you know, be, be careful with that, okay? So, all right, so you stuck around. And so let's talk about the pros, okay? And there's not a lot of pros. I mean, you know, it's, uh, the pros are, you know, the outfit is not pushy at all, okay? If you wanna run, you run. You wanna stay home, you stay home. But the, the payments are gonna keep on coming in. So you operate how you wanna operate. You tell them where you wanna run. You tell them what you want to do. So in reality wise, it's like having your own authority, but they're charging you 12% because they'll offer you the load. You can accept them. You can say, no, I don't want that. And, uh, you know, and you can, you can go from there. 
that's the good thing about the company. The other good thing, you know, the people are really nice. You know, the people are nice. They're not like assholes about it. I mean, he's, he, he lives in Florida. He turned down 10 loads in a week because the guy was trying to offer him a buck 60 a mile out of Florida. He's not gonna do it. So, um, you know, and he's nuts if he did. So, um, he, uh, he ran for them for like nine months, but couldn't really make a lot of money. Uh, you know, he was making a couple thousand a week when, when he ran, but you know, he, but now he's in the hole, so they're taking out payments, truck payments, repairs, and you know, you know, with these days, you know, I just recommend, you know, I would just find a good company that's going to pay you a good mileage rate and, uh, and don't have any headaches. Okay, I got another video coming up. Uh, you know, I'm gonna go back to Unigroup and uh, do some uh, trade shows and uh, stuff like that because you know having your own authority with one truck is just too expensive. So I'm probably just gonna go back to uh, doing that. I still have it for my household good size, but just in the state of Florida. But uh, you know. I think I'm going to hang up the freight and just go back to what I know best. And uh, But I'll have some really good content for you guys because we haul some really cool shit. And uh, so I'll get that out to you guys and uh, I'll let you know where I land and and stuff like that. Uh, and uh, we'll go from there. So listen, I hope this video helps you guys if you're looking for a job. Super Ego, well, let's put them on a scale. One to five, five being the best, one being a bad. I would give them, you know, they really need to work on their organization and they really need to work on telling the drivers up front, the recruiters, hey, you're not, we're not, you know, you're gonna get what we have available, not what you want, okay? So I'm gonna give them two and a half stars. That's my recommendation. Two and a half stars for Super Ego. So if I was to go on Google and give them a review, I would give them two and a half stars. But uh, all in all, again, nice people, but you know, they have some issues and they need to work on that. But you know, that's trucking, baby. You guys take care, uh, stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video. Later.